Hi guys, today I'm doing a video of uh, Streamlight. Um, from the one on the right here is Streamlight Junior. The one in the middle right now you're seeing, that's Streamlight Protect. This is Streamlight Junior, the second version. This is the one they're currently selling right now. They no longer sell the first one because uh, this is about more than uh, seven or eight years old now and there's some problem and they adjust it on this one here. And um, as you can see this one, I had uh, about seven, eight years. I'm a fuel service tech and I use these every single day. And uh, as you can see, it takes a lot of beating. And uh, all three lights here use two AA batteries. This is easy to find. and. Um, and when you buy a large quantity, they come pretty cheap. So, and um, the first generation of um, Streamlight Junior here, and the second version, I, I think I believe they both for 85 lumen, give about four hour run time. And uh, actually, it does run longer than four hour. And um, if if you run this um, on four hours straight, and then uh, it still keep you a couple of more hour maybe a day or more on low beam until the battery completely died out. I used to have Mac light before and uh, usually I have to change those battery about two to three days I have to, re I have to replace two AA battery. With these stream light here maybe once a week or a week and a half maybe um, but I do use them every day and, um, and uh, the junior one here the first generation they no longer make it because of this um, activating switch here. This is my second one. Um, the first one is completely this rubber, completely break. If you can see, this is almost breaking off now because like I said, I use this all the time. And uh, now the LED light doesn't work now. So I'm gonna try to send this one back, see if they can do any repair on this. Cause they say this is a lifetime warranty, just like rest of those flashlight that you have over there. On the junior second version, you see this, the activating light switch, the on and off switch here. It's all covered up now, so it will not get be like this one here that is going to get broken easily. And um, as you can see, it tells you give you 85 lumen, 4 hour run time. And this is my new favorite one that I got here. It's, as you can see, it's much smaller than the Junior Protect. This one gives you about 155 lumen on high beam of 2 hour run time. If you have this on the 11 loom, it gives you about 36 hour run time. And also this thing pretty cool comes with a um, short light mode that allow you to run this for about four hours straight on short light. I don't know why you need the short light features for, but anything is extra and it's free, then you know what, I'll take it. And good thing about the Protec, if you really work in the sun, if you lay it down, it doesn't move. Sometimes if you lay on the ground, you're working on something with the Junior, it does roll around. But again, you know, 155 lumen, that can be kind of bright though. I mean, extremely bright. It's almost double the uh, 85 here. So sometimes it, it does hurt your eye a little bit if you um, turn this on full, full blast here. And uh, this is the holster that comes with the uh, Protect. I mean, they all come with a holster. Um, this is a nylon holster, as you can see the June light, the Junior here also come with one. This one also come with one, but um, like I said, I had it for 7, 8 years and I'm a fuel service tech, the whole thing completely destroyed. So I have bought a, a different nylon holster from Home Depot to carry this one until this broke down now. So, and I went and got the, uh, the Protec, but it was too powerful, so I, have, I still went back to given the downside of this thing do roll, but I still went back to the junior again. So now um, let's take it off this package here. And uh, cause we're doing a, see this pack is pretty good. It comes with this, so you don't have to, like the thing you can peel it off. So you have to take out a scissor and cut all these packaging that made a mess of yourself here. So yeah, let me try to pry this open now. See, oh, yeah, I'll mix it where we, comes with that nylon holster with Streamlight logo in it. And all Streamlight comes with the battery included though. They all use the uh, Energizer AA. So let's open this up and uh, let's take out that two AA battery over here and we can screw the case now. So this is the second version and this is the first version. Again, they all come with these uh, pocket clips where you can put it in your pocket here. 
Um, I don't know what I did with this seven, eight years ago. Maybe I just throw it away because I always use the nylon holster. I believe if you have that on, it's going to be kind of hard to go in and out the nylon holster here. So, as you can see. Okay. Oh, well, actually, it does go in pretty easy on, on the newer version. But uh, I do remember this was giving me a lot of hard time of going in. Yeah, so. And uh, let's turn this, uh, let's put some AA battery in this. And all these lights will also come to water resisting. So you see, that's another thing about the junior. It does roll around and put them on the, on the table. As you can see, my partner has just picked that up for me. So now let's oh, I even drop the, uh, the thing. Okay. Okay. Wow, pretty bright. This is 85 loom. And uh, let's take out the ProTech and. Uh, Compare the brightness. This is the uh, ProTech, and uh, this is the Junior. I think this is on the low setting right now. You know, maybe I need to change this battery here because you know I've been using this for a while. Oops. God, I don't know why I'm keep dropping the uh, on and off switch here. And uh, let me take off this one here. Oh, this one is completely dead too. Okay. Oh man, I just can't believe I ran out of battery. Just give me one second. I'm gonna go grab the battery from the corner over here, and I'll be right back for this guy here. Okay, got two brand new AA Duracell. Although these guys like the uh, Energizer, but I personally like Duracell. Well, let's get this out of here in the way. So this is the ProTech on my right. This is the Junior. So you see, this is 155 loom, and this is 85 loom. And uh, as you can see, the size different. Um, this will do most of the job. When I bought the first one from the guy, he told me it can light up half of the mechanical room or the machinery room that he say, but I try. It does light up. If you have all the light shuts off, it does light pretty bright. So this is definitely good. And uh, the ProTech comes with the, uh, the uh, low beam. I'm going to show you the low beam mode. Actually, it's very tricky to activate. You have to hit this like a uh, double tap or something like that. Oh, I keep missing it. Okay, keep getting on the high mode, okay. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm not doing. I know you have... Let me show it to you. Okay, okay here. This is how my, you do it. My buddy's gonna... Oh, you see? Here we come. He activated immediately the strobe light. And uh, let's show on the low beam mode right now. How, how it looks on the low beam. Oh. Okay. That's the low okay, beam. Okay, see? This is the low beam mode. And this is the 85 loom, so... And uh, like they all got their good and bad. So if you see, if I put them over here, see, this will roll right off. Without without that pin over there, this will be rolling. So this will never roll because it's the way they designed. And uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.